guys i'm chantel m and welcome back to my youtube channel where we talk about personal development and anything in between if this is your first time joining us please feel free to like subscribe and don't forget to click the notification button to be notified every time i upload a video and if you are a returning savvy thank you very much once again for stopping by guys it's a brand new season it's a brand new month and i'm so excited and happy that spring has finally arrived uh in south africa and also guys i'm so happy that now everything is uh, looking great outside the weather oh my goodness it's so nice and also the flowers the wind is slowly but surely are disappearing and i'm so glad that it finally did in the cold oh my goodness we almost died this year oh it was so cold uh, I, I really love winter but this year yo i don't want to go there i don't want to go there so guys um I told myself what a way to start a, a, a brand new month, a brand new season, a spring, let's bring his sprung. It's so nice, it's so fabulous. And I thought to myself, let me just do this video on starting afresh. If you just need to start afresh, sometimes you just need to start afresh. And starting afresh means leaving everything that no longer serves you or that no longer serves you purpose and that is no longer in your life you just need to leave it behind i'm going to give you five tips on how to start afresh i'm going to talk about the five hours if you don't know about the five hours please do tune in and uh, let me save you i'm just here to save you i'm going to talk about the five hours of which are release reconnect redesign commit and the last but not least restart so i'm going to talk about the first one which is a release and number one release in order for you to start afresh you just need to release everything you know everything you know everything that you have experienced bad things uh, that you have experienced bad habits bad thoughts you just need to release it you won't be able to start afresh if you are not willing to release the negative thought the negative experience you experience the negative life you've lived the negative uh, thoughts that you have about life you just need to release it and even the mistakes that you made even just to forgive yourself and release your mistake just to be in a point of forgiving yourself so that you can be able to stand and look forward and release whatever baggage you have so that when you cross over to the next season of your life or in the stage of your life you come light you, you are not heavy with loads that have already been dealt with, supposed to be dealt with in the past but you still hold on to it just release everything you know I mean bad things there are so much good that you have encountered or you have experienced carry that through but release negativity release uh, negative thought and release a bad habit release everything that you see that it no longer serves you whether it's a, a, a habit whether it's a friendship whether it's the relationship whether it's every, everything that you see that is not necessary you just need to release it in order to start a new start afresh and the second R I'm going to talk about is uh, the reconnect one reconnect reconnect with yourself ask yourself daily how am I how am I going? And by doing that, you are realizing and showing yourself that you are important too. It's not that everyone around you should be important, but you are realizing that not everyone or everything that is around around you deserves your attention. You are important yourself. You are important to show up for yourself, to show up for your dream, to be the best version of yourself, to fight for yourself, to be the number one cheerleader of yourself so that you can be able to stand and look forward and fight whatever that is placed in front of you if you want to restart if you want to start afresh in a clean slate in a clean uh, clean um page you just need to reconnect with yourself ask yourself this type of question that am i doing this in there for myself or i'm doing it for the benefit of others if that is not benefiting you you won't be able to start afresh because you will hold on to the things that no longer serves your purpose or saves you so you just need to reconnect with your inner being with yourself so that you have, have the best uh, relationship with yourself within yourself with yourself in the space 
is where you will see that you are important. You are important. You you have one life to live. You just need to remind yourself that you have one life to really reconnect with yourself. Don't lose yourself in the process of trying to, to, to reach out for your dreams or achieving your dreams. Just reconnect with yourself. And the number three, the number three are is redesign. Yes, we just need to redesign our lives sometimes, guys. We just need to redesign our lives. Uh, having one plan for our life is an uh, uh, inadequate approach. And telling yourself that you have only one sound plan will uh, in your life will add a terrific amount of pressure and it also limits your possibilities we just need to have multiple plans we just need to have a backup plan as i once did a video if you haven't um seen it i will just link it up here and uh, so that you can go through it to talk about having plan b we're supposed to have multiple of plans don't rely on one plan because if you tell yourself if you are in that mindset that there's only one way to achieve this you won't be able because once you fail you will never go back you will never go forward you will stand on that pit hole that you find yourself in because you have failed and you have told yourself that there's only one plan or one solution to that problem so guys the fourth that i'm going to talk about is the recommend yes you hear me right we Commit. Recommitting to the things that you loved, you recommitting to the things that you like, recommitting to your dreams, to your hopes, to your to your to your goals, to your wishes. Sometimes you just need to recommit so that you can be able to and to gain a new perspective to to be able to achieve your dreams because sometimes guys we lose motivation we lose discipline but if you will tell yourself that i'm going to recommit it's not too late to recommit it's not too late to achieve your goals you just need to, to recommit tell yourself that i'm going to be able i'm going to push myself with this time around i'm going to push myself even if i fail i will continue to push myself because because failing is not the end of the world failing is the start of a new thing because once you realize that you have failed you know that now i have a reference i know i won't be able to go back there or do this thing in this way so that you recommend to yourself that i'm going to push myself until i, I get it done until i've achieved this until i know how this uh, how to do this and, and so forth and so forth so but by recommitting a part of uh, starting over start afresh so guys the last area i'm going to talk about obviously is the restart you can can't start afresh if you don't click the restart button you won't be able to start first you just need to gain a new perspective you just need to break free from limitation don't limit yourself restart refresh tell yourself that this time around i am winning this time around i am going to win i am a winner guys it's never too late let me just tell you it's never too late it's never too late to start fresh it's never too late to to press the restart button i'm just here to tell you that it's possible there are dreams that you want to achieve by the end of this year if you, you tell yourself it's too late it's never too late restart yourself refocus the re, re reconnect recommend re, re release what is holding you back don't you tell yourself it's too late it's never too late trust me if you push yourself if you are willing to restart start that parting restart that parting so that you can be able to refresh your mind gain new perspectives on things on life so that you can be able to push yourself you are going to make it you are going to make it but in the midst of starting over don't forget to deep clean your soul Deep clean your soul as well. While you spring clean your house, spring clean everything, but don't forget to deep clean your soul. Because sometimes you come with these huge clouds all over ourselves to, to, to want to sleep rather because you brought the vision of things, but you can't be able to, to do that if your, your mind, your state of mind is not in the right place. You just need to release that tension, to release whatever is holding you back so that you can be able to restart your life again. It's never too late. I'm just here to tell you guys that it's never too late to restart. It's never too late to press that restart button. So guys, I have a to love and leave you at hope to this video once a fruitful as always and if you haven't subscribed please i don't know what you still subscribe like and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified every time i upload a video i really love and appreciate you all until the next upload i feel love and leave you Bye.